Hello, today I'm going to show you how to replace a door seal on a Bosch, Siemens or Neff brand of washing machine. This does not apply to all models of the brands mentioned. You will need for this job a Torx T20 screwdriver and a reasonably small flat blade screwdriver. Before starting any work, make sure your plug is removed from the socket and cannot be plugged back in. Firstly, if you open the door and locate the metal retaining ring around the edge of the door seal, there will be a small metal spring you need to locate, in this case it's here. Get your little flathead screwdriver, play, uh, try and prise away the, door, uh, the spring from the door seal groove. And you should be able to just pull it away like that. Now the door seal can come out of its recess. Pull away from the cabinet just like that. Now what we need to do is remove the plinth on the washing machine. Do this by pushing this tab here down. This is the filter cover. Push down, pull away. Now we have a, a small Torx head T20 screwdriver down here. Need to remove that. Make sure whatever screws you're taking away, put in a very safe place. In this case, I've got a small magnetic dish to one side. Now for the plinth, if we slide this across and it pulls away. You've got a black hose here that should come out of this hole here and you can remove the plinth and put that to one side. Now we need to remove the two screws at the bottom of the front panel for the washing machine which were secreted at the, behind the plinth. You've got one either side. At this point, it's a good idea to get your door seal and fold it into the drum, like so. Now remove the drawer to give you access to the final screw to, to allow you to remove the front panel later on. Now you need to get a hand either side at the bottom of the front panel pull forwards towards you, the panel will now slide down and you can remove that to one side. Next we need to remove the door seal and the door seal band. Uh, to do this what you need to do is peel the door seal back out to its normal position. Door seal band sits in a little groove at the back here. What you need to do, get your hands at around about 6 o'clock position push down and the door seal should just come out of its slot and peel away like that. This is the door seal band here. If it doesn't fall out when taking the door seal off, you just need to peel that out of its groove there for fitting to the new one later on. At this point, it may be a good idea to give the door seal surface a wipe. It may not come perfectly clean. When you fit the new door seal, ensure that the holes are at six o'clock. When you fit the new door seal, this slip here will fit over this slip around the outside here. For this, I've removed my gloves just so I can feel what I'm doing. It's a little bit awkward with gloves.
once you think you've fitted the door seal, if you run your hand around the outside, making sure the door seal is flush with the outer tub. Now we need to fit the retaining band. Got a hook here which will hook into place like so. If you put the hook at the top, it's a little bit safer. So that will go into this groove around the outside as you saw earlier. You may need a second person to give you a hand here. It can be very, very tricky. Don't expect to get it first time. Again, once you think you've got it in place, run your hand around, around the outside of where the spring band sits, just to make sure it's in place properly. You can see the spring band is in this little groove here. Now that the band is on, if you fold the door seal back inside the drum, ready for fitting the front panel. Now we need to fit the front panel back onto the machine. We've got a teardrop shaped clip here this will slot into this hole here and the whole panel will slide upwards. Slide up and you've got two locators at the bottom which will just push on the bottom of the cabinet. Now we need to refit the front panel to the washing machine. We've got one of these teardrop shaped clips either side of the front panel. These will slot into this teardrop shaped hole. And the whole panel will slide up as I will show you. So it slides it, it locates into there. The whole panel will slide up and push at the bottom we've got two locators behind here it should sit flush now we can refit the screw up here once done you can replace your detergent drawer now we can replace our bottom plinth we've got two tabs on the left Two on the right and you've got your hose here the two tabs will go in there and down here and your hose goes through this hole Slides in there like that pull it through slightly two tabs go in and the whole plant slides to the left you've now got your last screw to go back in at the bottom and your black drain hose fits in its little slot there finally you've got your filter cover which slides on over its little pins and clips into place now you can refit the door seal of the door seal back out over the front panel. This lip here will fit into this groove all the way around.
how you can replace your outer door seal band. It sits in this groove around the edge. Having the spring somewhere near the bottom. Try not to stretch the band when you're taking the band or uh, pulling the band off or putting it on. You may want a small flat headed screwdriver just to give you that extra bit of purchase. It just sits in there like that. Now we can plug the washing machine back in and run a rinse cycle to check for any leaks. Allow the machine to finish filling up. Once you're happy that there's no leaks, You can either leave the machine to finish its cycle or you can stop the machine, select a drain cycle and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.